Hey everyone, it's Oliver from I and Live. We're here with Lawrence Graf as well as Pedro Enriquez in Digital Live. We're here at the W South Beach and we're going to be uh, filming a quick interview with the two. Uh, great duo as well, collaborating on a couple tracks already. Some individual singles coming out and some exclusive news that we're going to be coming on first on I and Live here. Uh, so here in Miami's WMC, we saw uh, that you guys played at Mokowai this past week. Uh, just tell us a little bit about the night you played, how was the experience? The night was, um, Dimitri Vegas liked my party, which was Smash Top Party, so they brought a lot of the Smash Top artists. Um, they had Herbal on there. Two girls in the yes. DJ world, that's right. Uh, friends of them. Uh, they had an old cool DJ, which was a friend of ours, Paul E. And they had Dimitri Mike, and they had Austin Yen, which is me, him, and Eve. We played the closing set. That's great. And you're also playing at Amnesia uh, with Cascade. That's the next sold out show during WMC, it's going to be absolutely nuts and we're going to see you there as well. We're all going to be in there uh, covering it on behalf of I and Liv. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. So, uh, a lot of exciting parties, of course. Uh, tell us about your latest remix, Boom Boom, uh, by Rai Rai. It's been all Yeah, all, for uh, Interscope, um, we got those. Uh, my manager got it uh, for me for, through Interscope and um, Rai Rai is a new, like, upcoming uh, hip-hop kind of artist, uh, new style hip-hop kind of artist. Uh, I like the, the, the vocals a lot, man. The vocals are very, like, pretty, very mean, so that's why I took the remake kind of that direction. Right. Like, angry face it, it, and also it kind of reflected because uh, we, we Belong to the Night also came out around that time. Yeah. So they had almost a similar great pounding sound. We love that. Uh, and also, if you're going uh, to Ted Rodriguez here, I mean, both of the remixes are also great uh, coming up on Spread the Love. We also have your remix on there, which is absolutely great. Uh, we love that. The original mix is also a little bit simpler uh, than the mix that uh, you, know, did, you know he did. And also, uh, Eves, what do you what, what do you do? Great. That, the original itself. Um, one main thing that stood out was the, the guitar. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And everyone was crazy over it. And we talked about it. It's actually the first time I've seen it in an interview. But I always said I want to talk about this. Uh, there was actually an accident that happened. I was supposed to do some scores. Uh, the guy did it live, scores. And then when we were rendering it out, the parts, he just started playing this guitar riff there. So just, I don't know, nowhere. And I'm like, hey, did you record that on the track? He's like, all right. Cool. So it just happened. And then the vocal was got on Giuseppe Viola. Um, actually, it's, well, he lives here, but he's Italian. Got on it and blew it away. And that's great. Yeah, it, really came out, it really came out great as a package, we think. It all released you know, at a great time, and uh, we bought the entire package online. It was streaming on our 24 7 radio station, so uh, we're loving seeing that on island, of course. But as soon as he sent me the balls, the yeah. he sent me the first ideas, I was like, I need to give you the first. I have even done the remix package yet. I'm talking about this is not even finished, the original, yeah. I still needed to do some changes. He's like, send me this like tonight, and I'm like, all right. <laughs> I got on it that night. Right. I think I spent like six hours on yeah, it. Yeah, like today it was ready. And I was like, that's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's the pleasure of also being in Miami. You guys have a lot of connections there. Um, you, you know, connections. We live like 15 minutes from each other. Th there you go. I mean, <laughs> and also during WMC, you guys have just been rocking sets together. We're going to see you guys. We're seeing you here together, which is absolutely amazing as well. And uh, a lot of news coming, uh, a lot of new tracks on Beatport this year. Uh, where are you guys thinking of going with your tracks? Do you have anything new coming out? Um, I'm, of course, I'm still releasing them. Of course. Um, I have a few more singles left, uh, two or three, and then I can start on my album. And then uh, from there on, you know, just remixes and stuff like that. So that's great. I have actually just finished remix a uh, new artist from my management called Hype Jones, like a dubstep artist. Vocals are amazing. Uh, still not out there yet because it's kind of a little secret though. You can't spill the beans. Yeah. <laughs> no, I have the original one on, it's going to be part of uh, Neva Luke's Make Match. Great. Uh, I'm doing, a, that's not a publishing deal with Ultra Records. Great. So I'm doing a three track EP with them also. That's awesome. A lot of great stuff coming for you guys. We're really looking forward to it. Event wise, you just said you were going to uh, yes, announce something big. I can announce it. I can announce it now. The uh, phase two is coming on Monday. I will be playing Nocturnal Wonderland, Texas. That is uh, fantastic. Right before I fly over, I play on the 27th, which is I think the first night. It's two nights. It's here Friday and Saturday. I play on Friday and then I fly over to Vegas to play uh, my own my night at Marquee Vegas. That is that's absolutely awesome. big. That's that's massive. And he also opened, uh, or actually played alongside Cascade at Encore Beach Club last summer and also uh, Cascade New Year's Eve. Hopefully we're going to see you there as well in uh, the LA area because we're out there as well. So we 
We'd love to see you. We'll be back soon. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure. What is your What is your schedule looking like today? I have a few things and kind of in back right now. Kind of you know can't announce it yet. I'll be, I'll be soon New York coming up. So for sure. Great. But you know still in the work. So great. Everybody close to great. And where can everyone see your latest uh, coverage? Except I know, of course. Uh, of course. I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, everywhere else, your Twitter, feed, Facebook, uh, Beatport as well. Uh, many new times coming out. I mean, you guys are releasing stuff pretty regularly. Yeah, uh, so we're trying to keep it consistent. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, that's what keeps it fresh. We're talking about how like tracks we have coming up and counting the other day was a lot. This year to be a lot of new things. That's great. I don't even have no idea about it. That's, <laughs> that's great. How, first of all, first of all, let's talk about some of our favorites. Fire in the New Shoes. Your remix of that was first posted as a preview, and then we found it out yeah. as the final promo track. It got leaked. It got leaked. Yeah. Okay, so we were just talking about that too. It got leaked. Leaking footage. So Leaking is always leaking footage. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a fun part of the job. So, so if you're looking at it, Cascade has also been, you know, a great person in, in your career, um, is supportive as well, and you know, there's always people in everyone's career. First of all, how did you guys meet to get on the collaboration? Like, in the, in the, in the how did we meet each other? Oh, exactly. We met, well, we went to the same high school, but he's two years older than me. Yeah, he's two years older than me, and then we kind of just, you know, yeah. stay out of... Our high school friends kind of hung out together. together. Like, not always. And then our friend, uh, Paul E, uh, the one that actually DJed over there at Mokai, he introduced us. We all went to his house one day. I remember we were in his studio. We kind of knew who each other were. That's great. Really, you know. So you guys grew up in Miami. You grew yeah, up yeah, here. same high school. Oh, yeah. that's, uh, that's great. <laughs> and then look, we're sitting down here with the two high school superstars that are now world now. famous DJs. So <laughs> that's just great to hear. Thank you guys so much for sitting down with us. No problem. Anytime. Absolutely. Anytime.